Welcome to Flow of Miracles Month's Energy Reading. This month's energy is Two of Cups, Love. So let's use this energy to make the best out of our month and to make sure that we walk freely and joyfully on our spiritual journey. So Two of Cups is a very different energy than last month's energy, the Queen of Swords. We just left this kind of mental brainstormy kind of month and instead we're moving into feeling of because we have the cups and that is the emotional plane as well as into the two which is all about duality but also about joining so the do's are quite simple this month gratitude is a definite do uh, when our emotions are joyful, when we're grateful for the people we have around us, when we can give and receive that love, that is definitely a way to make much more blessings come true in your life, to make things a lot easier and happier. So gratitude work will be double as effective because when we already feel loving, it's much easier to be grateful. And when uh, we are not as happy and loving in our relationships, gratitude work will help smooth the way. Another do is to definitely take time for the people you love, but also for the activities you love. Allow passion and actually doing things that you care about to move you forward this month. It will definitely help you to have a happier month, but also to make great strides in the things you are passionate about. Love begets love. So when we talk about the things that we really care about, the causes that we feel are important, it helps other people also to feel inspired and loving. So if you are planning to do any kind of volunteer work or donate some of your time or money, now's the time to ask friends and families if they want to join in. So definitely love is so important this month. But that also means that the balance is quite important. Uh, twos are all duality cards, and that means the balance between self-love and sharing love with others, uh, the balance between taking care of yourself, taking care of others, the balance between your responsibility and the responsibility of others, that is extremely important this month. Make sure that you stay balanced so that you can actually enjoy your month and make great strides in your life. That immediately also goes to the don'ts this month. Exclusion is a very easy to do things when the energies of love are flowing in the two of cups. As you see from one cup, you flow into two and there's not much space for other people. So be very careful this month that you don't exclude people so they feel unloved or isolated. Yes, it's wonderful to do things with a romantic partner, but we also have friends and family that would like to have some time and energy from us as well. So again, be very mindful that you don't exclude people. That duality also is a definite don't, that you don't feel split. A lot of times when we have to make choices between two things, we feel like very split. But most of the time, it's possible to do two things at the same time. So we can practice self-love while at the same time giving love to others. We can practice uh, taking care of somebody else while also taking care of us. This duality is often just an illusion and we can actually have enough love, time and energy for everybody we care about. And last but not least, of course, when we have these rose-colored glasses, when we have so much love available to us and when we're willing to give so much, we have to be very careful that we don't get naive. Not everybody is a good match. Sometimes it's important to understand who doesn't fit into our circle or into our lives and make sure that this month you do not spend any uh, energy on those people and you are not naive when something looks like you'd love it, but it's too good to be true. So definitely make sure that you check two or three times if something is actually right for you uh, because it's perfectly fine to follow your heart, but it needs to be balanced with your spiritual knowing as well. 
else your heart might just ask you to jump off a cliff and unless you can sprout wings the end result is not the one you would like to have i wish you all a blessed month and i certainly will be celebrating love because my brother is getting married and i wish uh, all the same to everybody to find that bliss and love